Much like in life, the NFL draft is true and it's full of hits and misses. But unlike the great Michael Scott ripping off the great one Wayne Gretzky, you can in fact miss 100% of the shots you don't take in the NFL draft. Today, we're counting down the top busts in NFL draft history. Starting off with the first one, a little bit of a curveball. It's 1986, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers famously warned from Bo Jackson that he did not want to be drafted. He wanted to finish his college career playing both baseball and football for Auburn. The Bucks instead drafted him in 1986, subsequently exhausting his college eligibility. He cannot finish his baseball career at Auburn. He then is a man of his word, does not report to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They then have to forfeit his draft rights in 1987, so it goes down as a first overall pick that never ever saw the field, never even reported. A complete indictment on the franchise itself as a draft bust, not the player. Of course, Bo Jackson had a successful NFL career as well as a career in baseball with the Kansas City Royals. Fast forwarding now, the next bust, one that needs no introduction, it's Ryan Leaf, famously selected second just moments after the Indianapolis Colts selected Peyton Manning. Unfortunately for Leaf, his career would always then be compared to the great Peyton Manning. But of course, he did not do much to help his cause, holding out and having off off-season troubles, skipping the rookie symposium, and then ultimately having the famous tirade against a reporter after throwing just two touchdowns against 15 interceptions in a season as well. Leaf lasted three seasons in San Diego before he was out of the NFL. A second overall pick in 1998, a big bust in the NFL draft. Fast forward then as well, another warning for one of our draft busts. Then head coach of the Oakland Raiders, Lane Kiffin, telling the owner, Al Davis, not to draft Jamarcus Russell. Instead, what do they do? They draft Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell then proceeds to, as the number one overall pick, hold out until just before the regular season. Jamarcus Russell, not ready, appears in just four games for the Raiders in his rookie season. The arm strength was something to behold, but the fact that he was kicked out of player interviews at the Combine for lack of attention really showcased through his entire NFL career. Jamarcus Russell finishing with 18 touchdowns and just 23 interceptions, lasting three seasons, not even a full season as a starter, essentially at all with the Raiders. A bust by any stretch of the imagination. The last one here as well, this one is a, it's a little bit of a throwback, it's a little bit of a reach, but if you look at the players drafted after him, it really truly does sum up what a bust is in the NFL draft. It's the Green Bay Packers in 1989 selecting Tony Mandrick, the offensive tackle. Mandrick doesn't last very long, famously quoted as saying he was the best player in the room and everybody needed to know that. That was not always the case, clearly not the case with the Green Bay Packers. And if you consider he lasted less than three seasons up in Green Bay with what the Packers could have had, the likes of Barry Sanders, Derek Thomas, and a few more Hall of Famers that were selected after Mandrick in the 1989 draft, it is indeed a bust and one for the ages.